The Cimarron Uruguayo is the national breed of Uruguay and it's a courageous and smart dog that is very friendly and devoted to its family. There are top 10 interesting facts about the Cimarron Uruguayo. I would love to thank all these Instagram profiles for letting me use their photos in this video. If you will like the Cimarron Uruguayo and you would love to see more of it, definitely check them out. Links are in description. Number 1. Origin the Cimarron Uruguayo was developed from breeds that were introduced to South America by Spanish and Portuguese explorers and conquerors, but the exact date of origin or breed's ancestry is unknown. It's believed that the dogs of those explorers crossbred together and the Cimarron Uruguayo was developed by natural selection rather than some intentional breeding process. Probably the main ancestor of the Cimarron is the Alano Espanol. Number 2. Wild Dogs most of the first Cimarron Uruguayo dogs and their ancestors were actually abandoned dogs that adapted for a wild life of Uruguay. And they were doing great and their numbers were naturally rising. In the 18th century there were some reports about dogs similar to Cimarron Uruguayo that attacked livestock, which resulted in the dogs being hunted. There were even bounties for every killed dog paid by the government. Luckily, not all of them were killed and they survived in good numbers in the highlands of Cerro Largo, where they were tamed by local ranchers. Number 3. Versatility when you see the Cimarron Uruguayo for the first time, you will probably think that this is a guard dog and protector, and indeed, their original purpose on ranches was guarding. But this is a very versatile breed, and they were also used for herding, rescue jobs or hunting. This breed is very fearless and capable of hunting even very large and dangerous game. They are known as excellent wild boar hunters. Number 4. Name as you already know, this dog breed was a wild dog in the past, and the name Cimarron can be actually translated to English as wild or untamed. Of course, the word Uruguayo means Uruguayan. This breed is also known under some other names, for example just Cimarron, Maroon Dog, Uruguayan Gaucho Dog or Cimarron Creole. Number 5. National Dog this dog breed has the honor to be the national dog of Uruguay and is the only officially recognized dog breed from this country. The Cimarron is also the mascot of National Army of Uruguay. Today, this breed is not only recognized in Uruguay, but also in the USA by United Kennel Club and also by the FCI, where you can also find the breed standard. Number 6. Temperament Many people think that this is a dangerous and aggressive breed, but especially around its family the Cimarron Uruguayo is absolutely fearless and they should never be aggressive without a reason. This is actually a very calm and stable dog. This breed is also known for being very patient and gentle with kids, but you should never leave any dog breed with a very young child unsupervised. Number 7. Not for novices but even though this breed is calm, friendly and stable, this is still not a dog for novices. They are naturally suspicious towards strangers and other animals and they need proper early socialization and good handler who will show them the boundaries. This dog also tend to be pretty independent and dominant. And because this is very strong dog breed, they need to be trained properly, which is only possible with a lot of patience and consistency in the training. Number 8. Size this is definitely a large, strong, but also very agile and athletic breed with average height between 55 to 61 centimeters, which is 22 to 24 inches, and weight is typically between 73 to 100 pounds, which is 33 to 45 kilograms. Females tend to be slightly smaller than males. Number 9. Code. The Cimarron Uruguayo has a great looking, short, smooth and dense coat, which is commonly in brindle color. But they can also be in pale yellow color, which is called bio. The eye color may be in any shade of brown, although darker eyes are preferred. Number 10. Health. Great fact is that this is usually a very healthy dog breed with average lifespan between 10 to 13 years, which is pretty good for a dog of this size. Of course, just like all dogs, even the Cimarron Uruguayo can suffer from some health issues, for example from hip and elbow dysplasia, bloating or entropion. 
Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the Cimarron Uruguayo and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check the Rocadox links in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.